Today, folks, is finance YouTube still worth doing in 2023? That is the question as I reveal to you my stocks to buy, my passive income investor YouTube channel's revenue. How much money have I made this year? I'm going to give you that exact number at the end of this video as we break down AdSense, affiliate marketing, sponsorships, patron, and extrapolate that out to the finance community, the other stock market investors on YouTube, and see exactly how much money they might even be making. And if that is a conversation you'd appreciate, as always, hit that like button because, my God, the information in here is so damn fascinating. And I want to start this video by talking about you, baby. Let's get into this because Google gives me so much data on what you guys are doing so I can market my products and make Google as much money as possible. That's usually what happens in the advertising space. But we can see a lot of you are subscribed to channels I watch like Brandon Beavis, Joseph Carlson, a lot of you watching everything money. I mean, Ryan Williams, uh, you got even Jeremy from Financial Education, Gen X Dividend Investor. What's really weird over the last several days is I can see the specific videos of these guys you're watching, like the truth behind the China Apple ban or my $2.8 million dividend portfolio Gen X uh, revealed. I mean, you take a look, you're watching Brandon Beavis, you're watching Jeremy, the stocks he's selling. And the weird thing is, is I can see that most of you are Canadian and most of you, I mean, 66% of you are Canadian and most of you are my median age because I'm 31 and most of you are between the ages of 25 and 45, or at least 60% of my total viewers. So I do appreciate you guys. I'm not really using this data to market anything specific outside of my, my Canadian content focused videos, my dividend focused videos. And and let's talk about the money those videos make from AdSense. And it's not nearly as spectacular as you guys would think, but I'm not a huge YouTube channel either. So do keep that in mind and we'll explain how this works with other bigger YouTube channels. But we can see that my channel on average per thousand views makes about $8.18. It used to be a lot higher until things slowed down. I mean, it was pretty much after the peak of the whole market boom of 2021 into 2022. I went from making like $12, $15 per thousand views down to eight. It's like cut in half pretty much. And we can see on an average month, I make anywhere from 300 to maybe 520 dollars. Most of my best videos will bring in about 30 dollars on average. Nothing crazy, I know, but. If you are a big YouTuber like Jeremy, for example, from Financial Education, how much money would he be making off AdSense? Well, doing some simple math, if we just add up all the videos he's made over the last month, the views he's collected, and we times it by that $8 that, you know, the typical ad revenue I'm making, which would probably be fairly similar, we can work out that he's making probably between seven and $8,000 a month because he brought in about 900,000 views. That's pretty incredible. That's like a full-time income. Damn, that's, a, that's almost six figures. That's a really good income, actually. But where's the real money? Being made probably off his patron. He's doing a lot of spawn. I don't think he does sponsors like he used to, but he's probably making a good chunk off patron, right? And even if he's bringing in another maybe 10, 15,000 off patron, which wouldn't surprise me, people are probably paying him a lot on there. I mean, you can work out that he's probably making anywhere from 15 to 25,000 a month. Pretty crazy. The dude's probably making a quarter million dollars off this channel. Absolutely astounding. But where the real money is in YouTube that goes far beyond that, in my opinion, is sponsorships. There's no hiding it. I do sponsors on my channel because it what it's what keeps me floating. It what al it allows me to keep making this content for you guys. I mean, that's the whole reality is if you don't make money doing this, eventually you're going to burn out and eventually you're something like your job is going to take over your YouTube channel. But taking a look at Zip Trader, this is going to blow your mind because I'm not even in this realm. This guy has 600,000 followers. He got 32,000 views on this video and take a look cuz he had a sponsorship, a company that wanted to sponsor his channel and they compensated him $25,000. That is insane. Now, why would somebody pay ZipTrader $25,000? Well, let me give you a little bit of a story. My buddy's daughter, she's getting into social media marketing. She's doing it for local gyms and local businesses. And I told her she's kind of wasting her time because how much volume is a local gym really going to do? How much marketing and how much value are you going to provide to them? Probably not a terribly large, significant amount. I'm not trying to be mean. But I said, look, go talk to a realtor. Let's say you go to a realtor. I'm going to charge you for six months of my services, $40,000, even $50,000. I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Why would I pay you that much? Well, let's presume I bring you one client here in Ontario, Canada, where the average house is worth like a million and a half. And let's say you close and you collect two and a half percent or even 5% commission on that, probably two and a half because you have to split it. But oh my God, literally one sale on a $1.5 million property pretty much covers your entire fee for that six months. Now you imagine you bring them three, four, even five clients over that six months through your marketing capabilities. My God, you'll make them a fortune. Now they can justify paying you maybe a hundred thousand year to do that business. Now, same in the stock market and finance niche, because let's say this guy is promoting to retail or even having some institutional investors watching this video. And one of them says, I actually like this stock and they go ahead and buy it. And they put maybe 10, 20 or a hundred thousand dollars in that company. Now, all of a sudden paying him 25 grand doesn't seem all that nonsensical, right? Because 
let's say even of these 32,000, 10% of them convert and they each put in maybe a thousand bucks. I mean, it really adds up quick. So that's why they can justify paying such high values. I mean, you look at some of my sponsors and I maybe make anywhere from 500 to $2,000 per kind of promotion. I'm nowhere at the large scale of what these YouTubers are doing. There's other YouTubers that specifically only do sponsored content, which is also intriguing. A lot of people are unaware that there's dedicated channels to just doing CEO interviews, very similar to CNBC or Fox, where this is purely paid promotion but you can take a look and you know he's able to generate really decent views and garnish a fairly um healthy income he's probably making way more money than i am doing this specifically and i've thought about doing stuff like this but i do enjoy the creative process of just making videos that aren't specifically for just bringing in money now let's round this conversation off reveal to you what my youtube channel has made and i'm also going to release a video in tandem to this for my patron members those that support for five dollars a month that help me sustain this channel and continue to make these videos i'm going to reveal to you how within three months literally in three months you can go from nothing to having a youtube channel that is generating money i'm going to break down all the tips tricks google ads everything that you're ever going to need to know to be successful without having to literally spend two or three years building a channel like i did i actually get paid to help people do this today which is really intriguing so thanks again to the patreon members links down below if you do want to join that as well but nonetheless this channel specifically to date has made me about 59 thousand Canadian dollars rounding that out. So what, like maybe 45,000 US. I know it's nothing crazy, but it is a pretty healthy supplemental income uh, that does make me feel like I I've done something really cool here. Now, obviously I'm gonna continue to try and grow this. Most of this income is broken down into quite a few different pieces. AdSense and basically affiliate marketing and selling products on Shopify make up probably the smallest percentage. I'm gonna say between all of those things, I maybe made about 15 to $20,000 this year. Affiliate marketing is another thing people can do. You see a lot of big YouTubers doing and selling their own products, but obviously this year I was promoting things like Quest Trade. I was sponsored by basically dividend uh, tracking companies, online web services, and they'll pay me per sign up. And that does add up over time, which is really nice and really cool and something easy anybody can get into some people even do amazon affiliate marketing because obviously i use a lot of stuff for my studio and basically you can just kind of promote that stuff and get an amazon affiliate link and make 15 percent on every sale i don't do that as much though now on the other spectrum of it obviously a huge percentage of the money does come from sponsorship deals and sponsors again will pay me anywhere from 500 to two thousand dollars some of those are extended contracts that will go on for three to six months i do try and select companies that i personally like that i'm willing to take a stake in i'm not trying to pump and dump companies i do explain to you there's huge risk I'm not telling you to put your whole portfolio in these kind of companies, but I do like seeing them evolve and I like being a part of their businesses because it doesn't matter what company you are, when you're starting to build up, you need capital, you need volume and attention on your company. And that's something that I'm proud and happy to be able to do as a service. And obviously it's a pretty high paid service as we've seen with Zip Trader getting paid $25,000, which is basically like 10 times uh, what I'm currently making, but it all does accumulate over time. And I do really, really enjoy this stuff. So I'm glad to say that, yeah, $59,000, maybe by the end of this year, if I'm lucky, and maybe I can bring in somewhere closer to 70 or 75,000, we'll have to see. And I'll continue to update, so consider subscribing for that. And also on that patron a member page, I'm gonna literally break down everything from like the studio setup. I'm gonna do a full studio round out as I recently purchased this condo. I wanna show you the full setup now that it's done and just talk about like the cost behind YouTube and just how to make it as efficient and basically fast track as humanly possible. So again, consider supporting, link down below, but on that, stay cool, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next 